In America, we have a history, a litany, literally, a history and heritage of community films that come out of Hollywood and other places around the nation that produce a production company of creating film and storylines and story times all throughout the land and all throughout our American history. Talking about the past, talking about the blast, talking about anything and everything that American citizenry needs to learn about, grow about, know about. In American film, we have the story of the American president told many ways to the form of God's glory. One of my favorite films is Dave, and that's a perfectly great film for today because it shows the importance of Teamsters and unions and people who really serve America, Inc. But we also have the films that produce the saboteur, and the saboteur usually starts as a boy or a girl, a hacker, a slacker like the Angela Jolie film, but openly I never saw it, I didn't have a desire to do it, and openly I wasn't into it. The truth is, I am an apparent American patriot. My father did serve in the military, and he continued to do things for his community, all, even into retirement. He loves America, he loves American film, he loved me, and openly, again and again, there were people in my life always trying to sabotage me and my wife. American citizens who let their children play with my son often interfered with our parenting that had already begun, and openly, when I talk about these things, we're talking about the American saboteur. The American saboteur wants to interfere with your right to life. The American saboteur is possibly an American citizen, possibly not, possibly just a Russian guy who got himself here and decided to stay here because the immigration patrol doesn't work itself beyond the borders here. The life in America is at risk today. We have way too many sleeper agents all across America, and probably that was the stupidity of the American government around Clinton time and marvelously the others that came after him, and I wasn't a Democrat at that time, I think I was more of an independent, and I probably would have voted for Ross Perot in my high school years because he was a businessman who knew how to balance a fucking budget. But openly at this time, we have no more budget because we're talking about spending millions of dollars with Pfizer and millions of dollars across the world for this and across the globe for everybody to survive this pandemic and while that's very humane and dignified, it may not be God's plan today. But the American saboteur wants to interfere with your personal life, your professional life, your ability to earn an income in life, and even they want to destroy your birth records, they want to interfere with your medical rights, they want to take away your bank accounts, they want to make you look like a failure, and they are often the people in your own birth family. Isn't that amazing that such hatred can grow? out of a perversity that someone doesn't have the right to know. The right to know is who's harming you. The right to know is who's stalemating you. The right to one know is who is impeding you. The right to know is many things, but it is never the right to disclose things that are private and sacred to the Lord. You see, private and sacred to the Lord is very clear in our American Bible and very clear in almost every version of it across the whole world that has not made it into a revival. The American president, the American vice president, the American government all have different versions of God, and we allow that underneath the human rights campaign, but we never think about human rights in America, do we? Because we're so perverse in our mind about what is our right to do to other people who are total strangers. Not me, but maybe you. The liars of America are those people, those children, those teenagers, those 30-somethings that like to hack on your computers, hack your cell phones, <coughs> destroy you <clears throat> and openly after a while that vice that they have that vanity of look how good I am starts to play at them and push them to do something again and again and they do it over and over and over again like it's an addiction like the overweight people of our nation who play themselves with food or the guys who stand outside your business your professional company smoking and toking those vegetable oil things that smell like a skunk and ruin our communities because the college students break them out of their plastic boxes, throw the plastic box on the ground instead of pitching it in a trash can. That can they can be found and openly destroy American environments. And we're walking across these things. They even play their bottles on the ground. And you look at these college kids and go, wow, you're still 12. Go back home. Be with your mom and dad. You didn't make it to adulthood here. Because college environments and certification environments and training environments are about maturing yourself into being able to work for yourself in a way that doesn't harm other people. 
when the lie you've told yourself is you think you have rights to me or you have rights to other people when you really don't your job is to serve your American company and when you're abusing the rights of that in front of your company president you just might get sued by them or sued by me for the violence in your soul the vanity of your arrogance and openly the vice you have for playing a game in your mind about what your rights are to them